starting the day with the vlog in the city center. You can hear the music being played. Super, super busy. Lots of people around. Music in the background. Some construction going on. Got a couple of things to do. Have to head to the bank again. Feel like I've been there every single day this week. But I forgot one thing off the list. So I need to go do that now. You can see people around. And I think everyone's just happy that the sun's out and it's not raining anymore. They've closed off the whole road and they have the festival. You can see the thing right at the very end there. But I need to make my way this way to the bank. But everyone says it looks like a ghost town. No one's out. But you can see today people out and about. All the bikes are out. No umbrellas are up and no rain jackets needed. It took a little bit longer than expected, but that's also because I went during the lunchtime rush and everything. But managed to get it all sorted. Now I'm going to find my way over to Starbucks. I'm going to sit there, take advantage of the Wi Fi, do some work, just a change of scenery from the library and in my apartment, try and be productive. This is going to be my spot, my workstation for the next couple of hours. I got a venti frozen mango freeze because I don't think my body can handle any much caffeine. Lucky enough to get the space here because it's really busy down there. But I think it's because the sun's beaming in here and absolutely making everything 10 times hotter. But I'm enjoying the sun. I'm gonna I'm pretty good first time having it, but so far so good. Just gonna chill here, do some work, and then I'm gonna walk around the city, take you guys with me. And it's just so nice seeing everyone out and above. Yes, they all such a miserable day. Everyone looked unhappy and sad, and today everyone's just like full of love. Still in the same spot, busy getting over all the articles, getting all the information I need. You can see it's still busy inside, still busy outside, lots and lots of people happening. At least the clouds have come over a bit, so it's not too hot. But what I figured out, one of the reasons why people weren't sitting here, it wasn't complicated from coming outside, it is because the Wi-Fi doesn't reach it. So it hasn't been too effective. My laptop sometimes picks up my phone, no chance, doesn't even get to it. And I'm going to stay up for like another hour or so, just trying to be productive, but it's good having a change of scenery and just really diving in, being focused, getting something else done. So, so far it's been a good day. Well, it was a good productive little session. I'm really hoping it's not going to rain because the sun has now hidden behind the clouds and it's gone really, really overcast. But even though I'm wearing the shoes that are too small with me, if you watch my other videos, you'd understand what I'm talking about. There's a beautiful viewpoint right on like the, the inlet, all the old houses. I'm going to go and try and find. And I'm absolutely starving. Haven't eaten anything. It's around five-ish now. Half past three. Haven't eaten anything since like half past eight this morning. So my stomach feels like it's eating itself. But I went into the shop and they wanted like a hundred kroner, so ten dollars, for a little like ridiculously small sandwich. I was like, no way I'm going to do that. I'd rather just wait and I'll eat when I get home. I found the location, got a little bit lost initially, but managed to do it. So this is another like where I said the pizza places there. They have benches and everything or to sit along. And it's right, right on the water. This jetty like shoots out that you can go and have photos on, make it look like you're on the water. Old Town Bridge down there. So this is like the Old Town, all the old buildings. This is one of the things I really love about Norway. There's all the different buildings. I've said it lots of times. It's just so amazing. Pretty epic view. Water beneath you. I think there must be pollen or something in the air. Also, you can hear I'm still not better, but my eyes just constantly are watering, can't stop. But I'm going to try and find, go back to the mall now, if there's something cheap I'll buy lunch there. Otherwise I'm just going to get on the bus and head back home. A few moments later. I was really hoping, trying to get the weather to cooperate before I filmed this next bit because you know me, I love traveling, I'm a big advocate, if I love something, I'm going to push it, I'm going to tell you guys what I enjoy about it. So I thought today I'm just going to go over my top 5 reasons of why you should come and visit Norway, and more specifically Trondheim, but we're just going to keep it general and talk about Norway. To start off on number 5 and work our way down to the best one, if I had to say my 5th best reason, I'm just going to go straight off the bat here, whatever comes to my mind, I've given it a little bit of thought, so I hope you guys enjoy it. The fifth reason I would say is if you love nature and you love being out there, this will be the place to come and do it. They have mountain ranges. It is extremely, extremely cool when it is snowing. I've done lots of hikes, not a lot, I'd say three or four hikes, 
when it is snowing, but I did them in sneakers, I didn't even do them in snow boots, so I was pretty sure <laughs> that I was going to get frostbite, so luckily I managed to avoid that. So I'd highly, highly recommend, if you guys are into nature, that would be my fifth reason, come check it out. It's amazing in the summer, it's just as amazing in the winter to go and explore. I had more fun in the winter than I did in the summer. Not so much in the rain, but in the snow it was incredible. The fourth on my list, I would say it's a mixture between the safety and that the English is very, very proficient here. So you don't have to worry about, oh, am I going to be able to communicate, worry about having to translate words and all that. But obviously it's nice to know a few greetings, just to say hi and all the thing, unchul, excuse me when you're walking past something like harabra, goodbye, and just just the basics obviously because they think oh these people are going the extra mile so that definitely helps and then the safety like I said it's always nice especially if you're a family or if you're just traveling by yourself to know that you're completely safe inside the city you can go and walk around at night you can do pretty much anything anywhere and you'll be okay so that's four my third reason I would say it's a mix between the history and the architecture. Obviously, it's a very, very rich history. You've got the Viking influence. You have some, there's even some wooden churches. I'm really looking forward to that. I wanna go visit some wooden churches because most of the churches, like you even see the cathedral down, they're all built, up, built out of stone. But with the pagan and the Viking era, they have wooden cathedrals almost built completely out of wood. And I would really, really enjoy that. You guys saw in this video, I go crazy for all the wooden buildings all along the river. I just think it looks incredible. All the different colors you see very similar in Copenhagen, but I just love it. The postcard look of Trondheim all the way down off the Old Town Bridge, off the Flower Bridge, all the way up. I just think it's absolutely incredible. The second one on my list will be the fjords. Now, before I came to Norway, I was like, oh, no big deal. How cool can it be? But when you see the inlet come, I'll try and put a photo and put it up now how the water comes in and you've got this huge mountain range coming down, you have cruise ship coming in. I'm not even too sure what forms that. I don't know if it's glaciers that have melted and then formed an inlet. I think that might actually be the reason, but it is just, it is mind blowing. It is so pretty. If you love taking photos, if you love exploring, that is just absolutely amazing. It's mind blowing. And then number one on the list, you guys have probably guessed it, is the Northern Lights. My family was always a big advocate trying to get me, come, you got to come see the Northern Lights, we all want to go traveling. I was always like, no, you know, I'm not really too interested at it, it's just lights in the sky, I can see that anywhere when I wake up in the morning, a pink light in the morning or at night, or I'm not interested in it. And then I've luckily seen it three times since I've been in Trondheim, which is very unusual because they said you normally don't see it here. One night I was out with my friend and we saw it, and it was, it was pretty life-changing. How you just see, it's almost like the colors are dancing and they're changing. But it happens quick, it's all over the sky, like one section going, 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 and, it and then it's gone. Luckily, I've seen it three times. After I saw it, I called my family up and I was like, you guys are right, it is amazing. <laughs> you guys have to come and see this. So those will probably be my five reasons. I hope this encourages you if you're on the fence, should you come visit Norway? I really, really, really say you should. Those are my five top reasons why I think you should visit them. But as always, thank you guys all so much for the support. If you're not already part of the family, just hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, because sometimes I don't send you notifications. Let's grow together, let's get better together, and let's improve little by little every single day to achieve our goal. I really, really appreciate each and every single one of you. You make this all so much more fulfilling and more worthwhile seeing that you guys give me feedback and the motivation it gives me to try new things, and it's really, really encouraging. So if you guys like it, comment, comment down below what you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more.